I like plants, I like yeah. homework stuff. And because menswear is totally boring, you know? yeah. sometimes it's like, Ugh. so I had to do something really nice and big. I wanted a bigger one, yeah. but I didn't. But the donkey is like my first animal with a donkey, so yeah. I had to put it in a collection. So all of, all of my childhood memories are translated into, let's not fashion garments, but garments in general. Yeah, you run the uh, Fashion Design Institute in Düsseldorf in Germany. Yes. So this is something very similar to the London College of Fashion. So what was your impression of the MA14 show? Oh, because we must look for uh, that uh, the uh, students, when he uh, finish by us in the school, that he wants to do anything for master, and then we look for here, and many, many talents here on the show. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite um, look from the show? Yes, I, I like the show with uh, Lara. With, uh, not the laser card? Yes, with the laser card. It's uh, very, very nice. Yes. We've been to Myanmar, we were backpacking there, and the country is just so amazing and it's so inspiring. Yeah, it's very flamboyant and almost like camp. You go to the temples and they're so captivating and it almost hurts your eyes. So everything is iridescent or pink or candy colors and that's what we were trying to put across in our collection. It's kind of really over the top colors and at the same time this kind of really strict militarism in a way. So we have that contrast of the two. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, and obviously bringing it all together and modernizing it and, and kind of making it fun and exciting, um, you know, for a young girl to put it on and, and kind of really express herself and, and have fun with what she's wearing. It's about, you know, taking inspiration from yeah. like traditional, you know, jewels and making it really contemporary and making it really cutting edge and pushing the boundaries and giving something new. So this season I, um, I collaborated with a pleat specialist on making my 3D paper folds into uh, pleated fabric. So I created a mold and then I made a, two, a, a negative and a positive to create a pleat. Um, so, and then I did a fading technique which I'll show you in a minute. Um, from 2D to 3D so it's really charged pleats yeah. at the bottom. And then I also did a melting technique this season which is oh. quite cool. Um, but the good thing is, is that the pleats don't go out, don't fall out, they just washed in cold water. Yeah. 